Well, in the gathering gloom, we're about to go into the Protestant church to have a look at the, the art that's on display there. Local artist Frank O'Sullivan. Frank, you have some of your work is on display here? Yeah, uh, just a few paintings um, from the last year or so. And what influences you? Or would you have an influence or does it just come to you? Um, yeah, everything would be from the imagination, but I suppose a lot of things like uh, book illustration, things like that. Um, but be looking at all different types of artists, you know. And have you had other ex exhibitions before? This uh, I've had uh, three solo exhibitions so far. Mm. So, is it difficult to get a body of work in for exhibitions, or do you just whatever you? I have so many uh, paintings, and I'll I'll put those on display. Or do you have to go about getting a body of work together? Well, I'll be working away at it all the time, so. If you get a deadline then for an exhibition, I suppose, uh, there's something to be, mind. yeah, yeah, so. And uh, are you selling some of your wares here today? Uh, everything's for sale, but uh, you know, everything's always for sale. <laughs> What's your own name? Una Poynton. Una, uh, are you doing well here in Kilfin? We're doing great. It's great, lovely atmosphere here now, I must say. Very nice, very nice. And you've come all the way from Yall? All, yeah, we've all the way from Yall. So yeah. Do you have a shop down there? Uh, no, we do the farmer's markets and I do the right. cooking classes. Right, right. Yeah, I sell chutneys, jams, cakes, breads. And then we also have a cafe next to here, the trailer, with hot, real hot chocolate tea and coffee. I'm salivating already. <laughs> uh, what would you give a fella that's really hungry and hasn't had a bit to eat all day? Well, you probably want something savoury or something sweet. Oh, savoury, I'd say. You'll have a word with us, Wizard. I'm afraid to actually go in the other man. He could turn me into a puff of smoke or whatever. Are you, you're having a busy day in Kilfinnan? I am indeed, thank you very much. You're enjoying yourself? Like, like, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> There's a man back to town, he can swallow those things. Can you do that for us? I can indeed, yeah. Would you like that? To be a good trick to finish up our uh, days uh, filming here in Kilfinnan. Okay, here we go. Watch this, folks. This I don't normally do this now, this is for my dinner, okay, but I'm really hungry. Okay, before I do this, this is magic. You can't do this at home yourself, okay? That's a good one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I gotta tell you as well, I've got no table manners whatsoever when I eat. So I'm a bit noisy when I eat, okay? Right, here we go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna okay. blow it up here now. And there's a ton in it even, it's going to be that much harder to get it down, I would imagine. And I want to show you that the knot is solid, can you see that? See that? Yeah. yeah. Yes, the knot is solid. Here we go. <laughs> he will defy everything. Here he goes, folks. <laughs> Must be going somewhere, folks. How does he do it? Oh my god. Look behind him. Must have gone. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's gone. Put your hands together, folks. That's one great trick. Thank you. Yeah. Uh,
we sprinkle holy water, we remember the opening words of creation when God said, let there be light. I'm now joined by another member of the organising committee, Adrian Wells, uh, here in the magnificent setting of the old Protestant church. And at the end of the day, um, a most successful day, Adrian, I would say. I think it's been very successful. Um, for the first time that we've done something like this, uh, Kilfin used to be a market town and have market days. Maybe we've made, managed to start that all over again. We'll have to see. But it's been a very successful day, I have to say. And uh, the stallholders, I've, we've gone around to numerous of them today, and uh, they're impressed as well uh, with, with what was an offer. Uh, yes, um, if you're going to do something, you have to do it professionally, and I think we have. And they, when we were selling the pitches to them, because what you're doing, you're selling Kilfinnan to these people, they don't know where Kilfinnan is, and they bought into what we were trying to achieve, which was to create a day that was based around the community, but could be expanded, and we've turned it into something that's far bigger now. So, as I said before, you know, for the future, we can just keep the sleeps and bounds. And uh, finally, to finish up, uh, a brave decision. Uh, the 11th of December, two, uh, a couple of Saturdays before Christmas, uh, a, a brave decision to go with um, having your, your fair today and with the council attractions in Limerick City and wherever else coming up to Christmas. Well, we can stand all right. We can stand stand well against these towns. Um, December the 11th, yeah, could put a bit of a risk, I suppose. But the way, other way of looking at it is you can't really have a Christmas festival in September, can you? Uh, uh, you're after a busy day, Santa. Very busy, very busy. Uh, what time did you get down from the North Pole? Oh, well, six this morning. Six this morning. Good lad. And you'll be on Kilfin for a few more hours, I'd say, will you? Not a few hours to go to Dinro and Hostel and Valley Landers and all in places. So, uh, have you any last word for our, the children that may be watching you? Oh, be very good now for Christmas, as I will be watching. He will be watching, folks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So, with a seasonal fog about to envelop the town of Kilfinnan, we come to the end of what has been a marvellous day. We've had stallholders from all over the country here. Uh, we've had the art exhibition behind. We've had everything in Kilfinnan, including that great man himself, Santa Claus, been here. Um, a word of congratulations to the organising committee. Obviously, has taken a huge amount of work to get today's proceedings to the stage where they are. Full marks to them. The magnificent 60-foot Christmas tree already lighting and sparkling here in Kilfinnan. Uh, it's time for us to say good night and a happy Christmas to everyone.